Thank you for having us today. My name is Jonathan Liu. My name is Ara Patel. My name is Mihir Joshi. My name is Mihir Kulkarni. We are Code Orange, and we are here to tell you about our game and design process. Our game is called Reactor Crisis. In our three-minute game, two alliances control their robots to install power coils and score electrons. Power coils are installed on reactor ports and poles that represent magnets. Electrons are scored into the reactor ports and through installed power coils. Power coils are released every 30 seconds from human player stations at the side of the field. Electrons are released from loading stations on the corners of the field at any point. Robots then navigate to and climb the activation chains to supply Second City with power. When we get a new challenge each year, we use Code Orange's 10-step design process to find our solution. While this normally applies to our robot, this year we used it for our game design concept. For our first meeting, we defined game strategy by going over the guidelines and the rules of the game design challenge. We then generated specifications by looking at the past 10 years of games to understand what makes a good game. We discussed what we liked and disliked in each game, which eventually led us to decide what we wanted in our own design. We wanted our game to have playability, feasibility, and challenge. Playability includes being fun to watch and to play. Feasibility was a measure of realism. We wanted the field to be buildable and also easy for referees to score and oversee. Challenge was a measure of difficulty. We wanted teams to have to think of creative solutions, but we didn't want those solutions to be exclusive to more experienced teams. After doing this, we individually brainstormed game designs and shared them with the rest of the team. Some of the ideas were games like tug of war, a storage game, and a game where teams could score through goals that they hung themselves. We liked the concepts of automatically dispense game pieces, mini bots, multiple game pieces, separated alliances, and self-placed goals. Although we initially wanted to include mini bots in our game, as we talked about it more and looked at the actual 2011 game, we realized that this idea excluded lower level teams and was not as entertaining for the audience, which went against the playability we wanted. For similar reasons, we decided against separating the alliances because we wanted robots to be able to play defense and offense instead of being restricted to one role. The idea of scoring balls through goals that the robots placed served as a strong base for our final game. The original concept had the coils hanging over the field, but we realized that it would be difficult to keep track of scoring. To fix this, we moved the coil runs over the alliance stations where we could collect and count scored balls. Another drawback with the original concept was that an alliance without robots that could score coils would be unable to score points. So we decided that the entire zone above the alliance station would be a scoring zone with extra points if the ball goes through the coil. An additional issue that arose at lower levels of play was that all the goals were very high up and many lower level teams relied on lower scoring opportunities. So we added two low goals positioned between each driver station, which allowed for both coil and ball scoring. We also knew we needed a place to score extra coils and decided on a secondary scoring method for coils, which were poles called magnets. They did not obscure the field and could hold a large number of coils. We made them tall enough to be challenging but not impossible. The final thing we needed was an end game objective. Like the magnet, it was important that it did not obscure the field, but also pose a challenge. For a solution, we turned to the 2020 game where the climbing stretcher was suspended over the field without blocking visibility. This meant teams could drive under it and the only blockages would be the supports. We already decided we wanted the climb to involve chains and we settled on having teams climb directly up the chains. As a bonus, we decided the center chain will be mobile to encourage cooperation between the teams. Another interesting feature we came up with was an auto feeder that dispensed hoops randomly. We ended up deciding that randomness would not be fair for teams and we turned it into a station operated by human players. This way, all human players could be used and we could drop the hoops at specific intervals. As we finalized the idea, we made a cat of the field. This made us think about the exact measurements and led to many discussions of balancing challenge with feasibility. In this process, we also added safe zones to protect shooting and game piece collection. We decided to limit balls to four at a time to prevent mass scoring and a skill disparity. 
During this time, we also decided on point values we would associate with each game piece and the requirements for ranking points. It was important that we did not allow any one section of the game to be worth a large amount more than any other parts of the game. We also de decided on a theme of energy, which really fit well with our game functions and rules. A major focus of our game design process was deciding the purpose of the chain element. We felt that the chain represented unity and cooperation, and it felt appropriate to utilize it as a way to allow teams to work together and achieve a common goal. Once we resolved all the issues we saw in the game, we showed it to teammates and mentors who had not been involved in the process and asked for their feedback. They asked questions we had not thought of, like the ability to throw coils or coils could be stolen. These revisions prompted further review, which refined our game. Using this process, we made a strong and challenging game that will be fun for teams and allows for interesting gameplay at all levels. Thank you for listening to our presentation and we would love to answer any questions you have.